Hey everybody, um, this is this is Cheer. I'm here. This is your robotics lessons for this week. Uh, a couple practices, a couple practices for uh, programming. So what I'm doing today is that we are going to be drawing our initials. Now uh, we're going to continue using and the, oh, and the reason why I do not have my uh, my picture in this is because I need the whole screen. So just so you're aware, there's only so much screen that we got, and I'm going to need the whole thing. You're going to open up the vr.vex.com and you're going to open up a brand new program and you're going to open up the playground, the art canvas, which is this one right here. So you're going to hit art canvas. It takes nine years because we are uh, running so many things bad in the background. That's okay. It'll figure it out. This is not as hard as it's going to sound right away. It's not. It's not so bad. What I want you guys to do is I need you to write your initials. So my initials is LC. And let's say, for example, Morgan's. Morgan's is MP. Uh, if we're looking for Angel, Angel's is AA. I need you guys to go ahead and uh, write your initials. Where is my canvas? Come on, canvas. Where are you at? I think I, ah, I did it. Okay, so here's the canvas. We're gonna drag this up just a little bit and I'm doing all the preparations first before we start doing any of the actual programming. So the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do initials one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do name our program. It's gonna be initial. Ah, there we go, initials. One, because so we're going to do two sets of initials this week. So I'm going to say I'm setting up two videos for the robotics and I would like you to do both, please. So this will be initials one. There will be also initials two. If we go back to the actual what I want you to do, this is an advanced. Um, it's advanced because you guys already have a semblance of an idea of how you to do a lot of these programs. So that's the reason why I have no issue with doing this activity with you. So there are three levels for this challenge. The first challenge is that you are gonna write your initials using the pen in one program. So I want, so do not do one program for your first letter and your first another letter for your second program. For your letter, I would like you to do both letters in one program. So that'll be level one. Level two is that I would like you to write out the, the letters of your first name. So mine is going to be Laura because that is my first name. So I'm going to be doing level one in this video and level two in your next video. If you would like to do level three, which is your first and last name, that programming will take you a long time, but it's okay because you can do this. I got faith. Now we're also going to be moving because I had some complaints last week about moving things into inches because since the mat is in millimeters, we should probably use millimeters. I'll accept the fact that I was wrong about that. So uh, each little square is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So that'll help us with the actual uh, calculations. The top view is what you should use as a dashboard because it is going to be the only way you can see it. So remember that I'll show you that and then use the set pen position block to move it up and down, which we've done. We did last week. So you're okay there. So this is your, so if you look here, they put in a VEX VR. So like they have VR as their initials. That is what I need you guys to be able to do is put your own initials down. I'm going to do the first program in this video of putting my initials and then I'm going to do the second video of making my name and you guys can do this. It's going to be all right. So the first thing I got to do is that here is my robot here right in the middle. Okay. Now. Can I, nope, I can't move them over there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start here from the middle. I'm going to do an L. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a C. So I'm going to do the L first. So to do an L, I need to 
Well, if I'm going to do it with my, with this pen first, I'm going to draw an L like so. That's my first one. And then I'm going to do a C, which looks like this, which is going to do straighter lines because a robot usually likes to go in a straight line. So I'm going to do LC. That's the plan. Now I got to erase it so that you guys can, so I can write this without going nuts with two different colors. All right. And that's another thing. You're going to have to figure out what color you want this stuff to be. It might be fun to change out color. So you'll have to see what you want to do. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our robot because I don't want to put my L right here in the middle. I want to put my L over here. And so my first one is going to be turn. Uh, it's going to be turn left. So I'm going to come over here. And since I am going this direction, this direction over here is to the left. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn left. <clears throat> and when I turn left, I'm going to go ahead and start my L. So I'm going to go ahead and I need to go to, I believe it's controls, but let's look. Nope. I need pen. Where is my pen at? <laughs> okay, well, here is robot pen, which is this one here. And I just saw something up there that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to, I might try that at the end of the video. Okay, so I'm going to set my, I'm going to set my color and it's going to be black. And I'm going to put that up first. What? Fine. They want me to do it over here. Fine. So I'm going to set my color as black. I'm going to move this over a little bit just so that I can see as I'm writing. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn my, no, actually I'll probably put the pen down too. So let's go ahead and move pen down because I have to have my pen. And then I'm going to turn left. And then I'm going to go back up to the drivetrain and I'm going to go forward. Now we're going to find out how many blocks, because of course the blocks are, this is the art one, so I don't actually see the blocks, but they said that, let's just go ahead and, hmm, wonder what's beeping in here. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. So we're going to go forward. Let me keep moving this over a little bit. There we go. We're going to move this forward for, let's go 600 millimeters. All right, and see how long that's for. So we're going to go ahead and run this program. So I'm going to reset my robot. Always reset it. Remember, if I had a dollar for every time I asked you guys to reset something, man, I'd, I'd be a billionaire by this point. Coronavirus or not. So I'm going to go ahead and run my program and see what my robot does. I'm turning myself and I'm going that far. That actually looks really good. That, that I like that so far. So I'm going to go ahead Start my, stop my program, reset my robot. And now I'm going to have to turn. Now you saw the robot was right there. I'm going to have to turn up. And when I turn up, that's technically a right turn. So I'm going to turn right for 90 degrees. Whoa, go below. Because I'm videotaping, it's stuttering, but it's going to be okay. You'll actually, yours will work a little bit smoother than mine. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go forward. And since I'm making an L, I am going to go ahead and I am going to go forward for another 600. So I'm going to go 600 up. Now we got to go ahead and run the program, see what's going on with that. It's going as going up. All right, now I want it to go a little bit higher because my L, this part should stop about here. So instead of going 600, I'm going to go ahead and 800 because I like my L to go up a little bit higher than that. So, so far, so good. All right, so I like that. I made a small adjustment. Anytime you make an adjustment, please do yourself a favor, run the program again. See how your adjustment does. I like that. That's a nice L. Now, remember, if you're going up 800 for your, your first one, you're going to go up 800 for your second one. <clears throat> now, we have a couple of options. We could either shoot across the top here and start my C and go do C's here. 
Or I can go back down, go across and start my C down below and then do it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shoot across up top because I know this one here is 600. If I go 700, it'll give me a little bit of space right here and then I'll start my C. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn. If I want to turn, I'm going to turn this way, which is to the right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn right 90. And then what do I need to do with the pen? I have to lift up the pen because why? Because if I don't lift up the pen, I'm going to be writing some more. So I need to lift it up. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and move the pen up so that I can turn without writing any more. So I'm going to lift it up. And how far, uh, how far over do I want to go? About 700. So I'm going to go back to my drivetrain. I'm going to go forward for about 700 and see where I'm at. So I'm going to take this down, take it for 700. And do you see how my line of code is? My line of code, it's getting big, but it's okay. It's working just fine. I'm going to stop my robot program. I'm going to reset my program. And I'm going to see if I can get that uh, second C started. Because I got the L done. As you can see, the L looks good. There's the L. <clears throat> I'm going to shoot across. The pen's up. And I think I might have to go just a little bit further. Because what happened is if I go straight down from, no, well, I have a little bit of room, but not a super a lot of room. So let's go ahead and make this 800. And then I know that I'll probably be good with that. <clears throat> so then after, I'm going to want to go, I'm going to want to put the pen down because I'll be ready to start my what? I'll be ready to start my C. And I want to draw part of the C. So I'm going to go back up to my drivetrain. I'm going to drive forward. Um, if the bottom of the L was 600, <clears throat> I want to go ahead and I want to do the tops and bottoms of my C at 600. Let's see if I have room. And so let's go ahead and run our program. See what we got. I got the bottom of the L, got the side of the L. I turn, I go across, I'm going to make the top of the C. Stunning, absolutely stunning. <clears throat> My biggest problem is, is that I am gonna have a problem coming back. So I need to go backwards, turn, come down, turn, and finish over here. <clears throat> and I have two choices with that. I could either go ahead and get rid of this command to do the pen and just start doing the pen again, or I can read, or I can go over my line again. So I'm just going to, since this is practice, I'm going to go over my line again. So now I'm going to go backwards 600 because I know I, I went forward. So I'm going to go backwards and see if that line stays good. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go backwards 600. <clears throat> and then I need to turn. So I need to move this up a little bit. So I have some more room. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to need to turn, but which direction am I going to be? Because I'm going to be backwards, right? So I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to make a right-hand turn. I'm going to go right 90 degrees. And then I'm going to go forward for the entire length of the L. So if we look back to the command with the L, which is right here, that is 800. So if we're going to go down, we want to go down 800 because that will give us a straight line across where our, where our letters are. And that's kind of what I want to go. So let's stop our program. Let's reset our robot and reset our, our field. And let's try again and see if I got an L and a start to a C. So I got the L, which looks good. So far, so good. As you can see, it's running through your directions. It's highlighting the directions as it's going through. My L's finished. Here's my start to my C. Up! Oh, I forgot to hit backwards. There's a mistake. You see how my robot is up the wall? Now, let's go ahead and stop it. We needed to go backwards. 
And it was nice. I like this program because it was showing you where it was getting stuck. So it's just like blinking green and it was showing you that it was stuck on that one. So let's go ahead and reset it. We made a mistake. So we need to go ahead and reset and start over again and fix our mistakes. It's not a big deal to have a mistake. We have them all the time. No one, nobody's perfect. Going up, our L's good. We're going to start the C. There we go. Starting our C, taking it back. Turning, going down. All right, so now we just have to finish that C off. Now finishing the C off, we just have to make one more turn. So if we're gonna turn this direction, you're gonna think that it's right, but see your robot is faced this way. And since your robot is faced towards the bottom of the screen, technically left is this way. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna go straight. And we need to do Come on, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and hit a left-hand turn at 90. And right now it says right, so we gotta split, switch it to left. And then we're gonna go forward. And how, how long forward do we need to make it? Let me see, if this part over here is 600 right here, then this needs to be 600 because we want our we want our letter to be the same on the top and the bottom. What happened to my stuff? Ugh. Okay. I have no idea why it switched, but it switched. It switched again. All right. I, I, I think I have to hide it. I don't think I have a choice. Okay, here we go. So down here, we got to do 600. My program is too long now. So sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just got to accept the fact that your program's too long and move back with your life. All right. So go ahead. I have all the commands the way I want it to be. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to reset it. Always reset everything on the board and hit it again. So we've programmed the robot <clears throat> to make an L first. Perfect. Now we're going to go across to the C and see if I have this correct. Robot goes, it makes the top of the C, turns, goes ahead, makes the side of the C, turns, makes the bottom of the C. And those, my friends, are my initials. That is your activity to do for activity one. It's gonna take you a little while. And some of your, some of your letters are gonna be harder than others, but I love to see them, okay? So do me a huge favor. Either show it to me during the Google Meets we have every day at noon, or please go ahead and give me, send me a video or send me a picture online on my email address, which will be in the uh, description of this video. So great job guys. And I'm gonna dust my shoulders off. You can't see it, but I am because I'm amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset that. We know what the program looks like. You know that you need to be in the art canvas. You know that you need to do your initials for the first activity and you're gonna do your name for the second activity. The name is gonna be a little harder because man, the, some of our names are really long. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this, shove this up top a little bit. And then as you can see my program, it's got a lot. It's got a lot of stuff going on, but you could do it. I got faith. Try to make your lines as even as possible on your two letters and we'll go from there. I look forward to seeing what you guys can do and I will talk to you again soon. All right, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I know that we are, I know these are tough activities. It's going to be all right. You just got to keep practicing and um, go enjoy yourselves. Have a, stay safe, stay healthy.